Uh, one of the major things that I've run across is that people need financing, but they don't understand the importance of what their credit rating is. A lot of times people feel that, oh, I had an old bill from way back, or I had a medical bill that's not going to count against me. I was young. From the time you turn 18 of legal age, your credit is starting to build. And in order to be able to purchase a home later on, you have to keep your credit nice and clean. One of my uh, objectives also in this brokerage business is to help people be able to clean up their credit, help them to understand the, how to budget, how much money you need in reserves and so forth, to be able to get you in a good financial situation. Obviously, the better that your credit is, the more apt you're going to be able to get a better rate in terms that you're looking for. The lenders always look at what uh, their possible loss is. So even though you may have a situation where someone has, you know, uh, $50,000 on a $100,000 purchase, which sounds, wow, that's only 50% loan to value, the trouble with that is if you've already showed a bad history and you've let your credit go, you still will have very, very, very difficult to be able to try to find someone that is willing to take that. And a lot of people are under that misconception that if they've got sufficient money down, they can do anything they want to, and that's a, a wrong conception there. For